basic networking devices hubs Welcome to CCNA 203.1 Implementing and Administering Cisco Solutions Chapter Number 4 Basic Networking Devices Hubs In this chapter, we will learn about Basic Networking Device Hub, their functionality, specification, etc. What is a network? A network is a collection of interconnected devices or components that are designed to communicate and share information with each other. It can be a computer network or a cellular network or even a satellite network. What is a computer network? A computer network is a collection of interconnected computer and other devices that are designed to communicate with each other and share the resources. Consider the image shown in the screen. Here you can see multiple devices are connected together using a network media. Here you can see one PC and one laptop and another PC, then server, one IP camera and printer. All of these devices connected together with the help of a network media. So this is what the definition of a computer network. It's a collection of interconnected devices. The main purpose of the network is provide the communication between the devices and share the resources in between. For example, this laptop can access one sharing folder from the server. And the PC, this PC can communicate with the another PC. The camera can record the videos and send to the shared resources of the server. This PC can send a printout to this printer. So in this way, all the devices can communicate each other and share the resources in between them. Now let's talk about the network device. What is a network device and what is the function of a network device? Suppose we have a computer called computer 1 and another computer called computer 2. We want to make a communication in between them. For that, we need to connect this computer together. So how do we establish a connectivity in between these two computers? For that, we need to connect a network cable such as CAT5, CAT6 cable from computer 1 to computer 2. So where do we connect these cables? So computer 1 and computer 2 or any computer, it has an interface called network interface card or a network interface simply saying. So this network cable will be plugged into this network interface card at both sides of the computer. Then we can establish the network connectivity in between them by providing an IP address. So in that way, we have successfully connected the cable in between computer 1 and computer 2 and provide the IP address. Now, the computer 1 can send the information to computer 2 and computer 2 can send the information to computer 1. Connection established. Now let's imagine we have a third computer in place, the computer 3. What if this computer need to connect to computer 1 and computer 2? How it is possible? So same like we did for computer 1 and computer 2, can we take another network card and connect from computer 3 to computer 1 or another network card from computer 3 to computer 2? Is it possible? No, it is not possible because one network interface can support only one cable. So each computer basically has only a single network interface. So we already use this network interface to connect to the computer 2. Now there is no additional network interface card to connect with the computer 3. And plus the connection between the computer 1 and computer 2 is a one to one communication. So that means these devices can communicate together, but there is no provision to allow another device to connect to this device. 
So in this situation, we introduce some device called network device. So the network device helps multiple devices to connect to it and they establish the connectivity in between them. Here we have a computer 1, computer 2, computer 3 and computer 4. All these computers connected to the networking device which can be a hub or a network switch. But whatever it is, its function is to provide the network connectivity between the devices. So for example, if the computer 1 want to send an information to computer 4, they can communicate with easily. Same way computer 2 can communicate with all other computer without any issue. So the main function of a network device is to establish the network connectivity between all the devices connected to it. Now let's talk about the hubs. What is the definition of a hub? A network hub is a basic networking device that operates at the physical layer of the OSI model. Its primary function is to connect multiple devices in a network and facilitate the transmission of the data between them. The symbol of hub is shown in this picture. This is how a network hub indicate in the networking diagram and the real image of the network hub is given below. Now let's talk more about hub. The hubs are first generation devices. Because in the Ethernet history, hub came first as a network device. So they are called as first generation devices. Hubs broadcast the data to every interface of it. Why it's like that? Let's see how a hub working in a network. We can consider the image in the screen that five computer connected to one single hub. The PC1 is connected to interface 1, PC2 is connected to interface 2, PC3 is connected to interface 3, PC4 is connected to interface 4 and PC5 is connected to interface 5. Now let's imagine the PC1 want to send some data to the PC4. Here basically the PC1 is connected to the interface 1 and PC4 is connected to interface 4. So when the hub receive the data at interface 1, it need to send that data to interface 4 so that PC4 can receive. But as per the broadcasting characteristic of hub, it broadcast the data to all the interface which is include the interface 2, interface 3, interface 4 and interface 5. So that means the broadcasting data can be received by PC2, PC3, PC4 and PC5. The PC2, PC3 and PC5 reject that data because they are not considered as the destination device for that data. Only PC4 is the one who consider as a destination device so only they receive the data remaining all computer reject the data. Hubs are non-intelligent devices. Why hubs are called a non-intelligent device? Because of their broadcasting characteristic. As we mentioned earlier, Hub send the data to all the interface of it. Hubs are non-intelligent device. Why do we call hubs are non-intelligent device? Because they are not intelligent at all. As we mentioned earlier, because of the broadcasting characteristic of hub, it send the data to all interface of it. That means so many devices receive the packet that is not intended for them. So this type of data transmission is not secure at all. So if a third person want to know what is inside the data, they can easily decrypt the data and understand what is inside. The network transmission through a hub is not secure at all. That's why the hubs are called non-intelligent devices. Hubs use half duplex method for the communication. What is half duplex mode for the communication? The half duplex means one device can either send or receive the data at a time. They cannot send and receive the data at same time. For example, we can consider a network hub as a single track of road as shown in the picture. Here at a time only one car can go to the other side and come back. It is not possible to go one car to the other side and from the other side another car can come in at the same time because there is only a single track is available. There is no room for two car to travel at the same time. So this is exactly how a network hub transmit the data. It can either send 
or receive at a time but it cannot send and receive at the same time hubs have single collision domain what is a single collision domain hubs are like a single track of road it can either send the data or receive the data but it cannot send and receive at the same time so what will happen when two devices try to send the data through a network hub now consider the pc1 want to send the data to pc5 and pc3 want to send the data to pc4 and when they try to send the data at the same time what will happen pc send the data to the interface 1 of the network hub and pc3 send the data to the interface 3 of the network hub and when the data reach at the interface at the same time as we mentioned earlier the hub has a single track of road single collision domain so when more than two devices try to send the data or receive the data at the same time the data collide each other and cancel each other none of the device can send the data at the same time and when the collision happen the devices need to reinitialize the network traffic again to send the data so whoever got the chance to reach the collision first they can send the data so this is simply says that more than one device cannot send or receive the data at the same time through a single collision domain now another characteristic of network hubs are they are working at the physical layer of the osi model what is osi model osi model stands for open system interconnection model it describes about the seven layers that computer system use to communicate over a network osi model is considered as the first standard model for the network communication the physical layer of osi model is responsible for the physical cable or the wireless connection between the network devices hubs are non-intelligent devices so that's why they are working in the physical layer of the osi model so in this chapter we learn about the basic networking device hub their functionality and specification thank you for watching subscribe to the channel for more videos